Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to copy and paste clips here in CapCut. Let's begin. Copying and pasting clips in CapCut is a great way to save time and quickly reuse sections of your video. It allows you to duplicate clips, effects or text without having to redo everything manually whether you want to create a seamless transition reuse a section of the video or apply the same effects to multiple clips the copy and paste feature in CapCut is super helpful so how do we do it first of all you need to open the CapCut app and from there just click the create a new project to begin your work or start from scratch in my case i'm going to be choosing this project that i have in place and then as you can see i have like three clips here and i wanted to one of them i wanted to reuse for future um usage all right so for that to happen i want you to click the overlay so you can see how many clips you have for example i'm going to be choosing this right here at the bottom clip and for you to be able to copy that once it's selected you need to search for the option at the bottom that says copy If you don't have the copy, you have the duplicate. If you notice, you see that there's going to be two clips that has been already in the timeline, which copied the first one. I'm going to do the same for both. I'm going to select the image right here, click the duplicate, which will copy a clip here. For the uh, third video, I'm going to do that again. Click uh, the duplicate, which copies the clips. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is play the video all along since we have copied for all the clips, creating a time loop. And then with that being said, you can ensure a continuity between different parts of the video without manually aligning every transitions. Especially if you have applied effects to a clip and want the same effect on another clip, you can copy and paste the effects along with it, the uh, clip. And of course, you don't have to uh, copy and paste everything here it saves you time from having to recreate it all right and then once you are happy with this you added your transitions effects here the next thing that you need to do now is to click the export button on top of the your screen if you do you have the option to save this from a different file formats you can save it to your send it to your client for feedback if you are in a part of a collaborative environment you might want to share this to whatsapp facebook instagram and other formats so that you can get some feedback and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one